Seriously, there are so many closed doors. I mean, imagine the possibilities on uh, once this game's a couple of years old. After seeing enemies come out of many of those doorways, that many of those doors were just enemy spawn points. This was a very interesting ethereal green light. It's up. No? I'm noting the expansive area, crystals, and that giant spiderweb material. That must be one large spider. This is the backside of the Temple of Crota. <laughs> Do you know what this means? That this is all one large loop? Yeah. Just what you said. I was hoping you had an answer for that because I didn't. But this was one large loop, much like the Russian Cosmodrome. Yep. Bye. <laughs> yeah, bitch. <laughs> Take a lot of convincing. Oh, hello. That's that's another boss down here. Down here. This guy was our silent partner in this endeavor, but he just really filled that role of hunter scout, and he led us into many interesting places, often I perilous. See. In Cosmodrome, which is just steeped in the familiar. The moonscapes here, especially in the Hellmouth, were just so interesting and uh, new. Uh, I think that's where we came from, the Temple of Crota. Interesting and new. Very easy to get turned around and lost in. This area was a labyrinthian uh, exploration, to say the least. Your what? Um, if you want me to. <laughs> Not humble at all. You were going to wait. If I get you right, you were going to do this. Fine humor. Huh. Grenade throw. Oh, okay. The Fist of Havoc didn't even do half the damage. But to me, it still had like 70% of his health. Maybe the European game overestimates the enemy. Yeah, we uh, just uh, exited from the temple there. The ogre won. The Fist of Havoc's initial pop of damage didn't One. bring it below 50% health, but the first tick of no, Aftermath one. did bring it below 50% health. And also that the yeah, str stream that no, it shoots out of its eyes yeah. is actually a stream of oh individual pulses. Okay, maybe that's what it's Oh, pulse. Oh. This is our first time experiencing the 
respawning of this area. It was quite surprising to have a ship just kind of pop out of nowhere on top of us. And his silly British humor. Surprise! So incredibly satisfying in this game. I think day. maybe something has to do with us being in their uh, base of operation. We had that same spawn happen to us a couple of times. It's just a really surprising way of having enemies come into the area. The sky may be open, but it's just having an enemy ship slipstream right into the middle of the zone is just startling. They are amassing an army for a final invasion. Oh! Yeah, so it's out of a 12. Experience with level 12. And, uh. Yeah. Not only that, they were a higher tier enemy, so the encounter was quite surprising. Okay, I think we may have to uh, go in an opposite direction. So, uh, let's just advance in the opposite direction. British for retreat. I felt though with concentrated fire we could take them down, so as level 8s taking down some level 12s, we decided to focus fire. Almost. We didn't really dodge that one too well. Yeah, that's about the first shot. Bang grenade was just absolutely um, essential for exploring some of these areas. Okay, let's advance in the right direction this time. Then. It's important to find this area to be kind of closed off, although um, it was closed off obviously for some other area. It refers to the summoning pits, which means that somewhere in this area will be another zone attached to the hell mouth. At least we have this pretty light here. Yeah, it's mesmerizing. Nice means uh, there's only one choice but to have a dance party. Wave in front of the mic. <laughs> Maybe we could just fix on the pile of bows. Just. And his British humor. Uh, a little yeah. macabre though. Hey, I have a bone for you. <laughs> <laughs> 